Okay, well, it seems as though the reason that the Democrats and a lot of the establishment Republicans, the establishment in general, is having kind of a meltdown, with the exception of the ones that are around Trump and, and maybe a few others, is really because the United States is becoming less relevant in the, in the world. And, and I say this because uh, the other day it was reported that uh, in Syria, after the uh, operation of the Syrian government and the Russians in Syria, they're now going to have a peace conference and um, so far it looks like the United States isn't invited to the peace conference at all. And it's just going to be Turkey, Russia, and Iran. Those are going to be the three. Odd that it would be because the little that I've been able to learn about the pipelines, because in the end result Syria is really all about pipelines, gas pipelines, natural gas pipelines, or at least that's one of the reasons, probably the main reason for the war in Syria, I would guess. Well, one of those pipelines was supposed to lead from Iran through Syria in a way and out to the Mediterranean, I think, possibly if not through Syria just to the Mediterranean, but into Turkey and into the Mediterranean. At any rate, it looks like Turkey is going to have a, uh, a place at the table, at least for this peace agreement, and likely this means for the, one would guess, can speculate, I guess, I don't, I don't know for sure, the business dealings that will follow, because the American pipeline really wasn't an American pipeline. It was from Qatar. It was to go from Qatar all the way through Syria to Turkey and out to the over to Western Europe, to the Mediterranean, so the Western Europeans could have natural gas. Odd thing about this whole thing is, is America is so involved in this, and really it has very little to do with the U.S. at all. It has more to do with uh, Western Europeans having natural gas. Anyway, it just seems that the U.S. has um, been um, sort of downgraded on the world stage. Gore Vidal, 20 years ago or so, used to talk about how the American empire was really at an end, coming to an end, or really at an end. But he was early, I think. He was like 20 years too early. And it's hard to say if this is even the end of the American Empire. They probably will regroup and in some fashion be back uh, again relatively soon. But, um, yeah, to see that, to see how the U.S. isn't part of the negotiations, well... <laughs> I mean, who who would have thought that, I suppose? I guess some people would have thought it, but it is it is a little bit um, surprising that they will be able to, that they will do that. They're going to do that, the Russians, the Turkish, and the Iranians. The other thing is um, you got to wonder with the ambassador being um, basically assassinated, the Russian ambassador in Turkey and then I just saw another news story that was only in the London Mirror so I don't know and I don't want to make too much of it of another Russian diplomat that was that something happened to and um, I don't want to speculate too much but I, I, I sense that this is all a part of this unraveling that's happening and it's a very dangerous time and as the curse once said, may you live in interesting times, as I've probably said in other videos, quoted that quote. So, I guess to sum up what I'm saying, 
the, the reason that we're being told fake news all the time, everything's fake news, and all the emphasis on Russian propaganda, when, when really I don't know how much reach Russia today actually has. I mean, especially on actual, maybe on the internet, but on actual televisions, I, I don't know. I mean, what percentage really is paying attention to Russia today? You know, it's hard, it's hard to know. Nonetheless, I, I sense that the reason that all this is going on and all this turmoil and all that we're being told is because of this feeling among the elite that they've lost their place in the world, they've lost their clout to a great extent in the world. And, um, yeah, that's it. That's the reason. <laughs>